now. Welcome aboard again, my wonderful community. Now, to this video, we're going to be seeing how to perform simple transitions like this that you've just seen. I'm sure you enjoyed the phone. Unfortunately, the DJ had to cut it off. I think we need to take this DJ to court. If I were you, can so take me no to court. Man, you can, no. no, he has abused our fundamental woman right to. What am I going to do? Get every bit of entertainment from this channel. Look at my face. Like I could have killed a lot of people. So we will not take it. We we'll put it to the judge. Of order. And whosoever is concerned that he must address this issue. However, as a DJ, we are going to be learning how to do this simple transition. I'm sure when you look at it carefully, it looks very simple. Yes, actually it's very simple. But remember as a DJ, you must first understand those individual pieces to put before you can put up anything reasonable as a DJ. Let me explain to you why. Because you don't understand the rules. When it comes to transition, you must understand those tiny, tiny elements like the hot cue, your brakes, your cuts, your... All the necessary things you can think of is when you understand how these tiny pieces work together that you get to see how you appreciate the entire concept of the virtual DJ mapping I'm talking about here. A lot of people are still doubting because they don't really understand these individual pieces. When you understand it and you now go back to see my video where I talked about understanding the programming languages, that is the concept of virtual DJ mapping, then you will now see every reason that you need to get this mapping. Just look at how easy and simple it looks. This is something that if you have to do it on your control, I'm telling you, you have to be struggling with yourself. See how how simple it is okay let's go into it i'm going to be explaining the individual pieces now you get to appreciate it what did i do in this actual transition that i just did now there are cue points i took note of let me go to my beginning let me show you you see this is my cue point one let me start the beat on it on this particular one you get to see so that is where my hot cue point one is this is it but it's possible for me to perform a kind of chop introduction of the Q.1 with the aid of this letter G. It's already in my mapping. If you have that, you don't have any problem to worry about. You don't have any problem. You are good to go. You will see it severally. For those who have gone on live interaction with me, you agree with me. Be reasonable that, that this thing works exactly as I said. This is it. So you now see it. Then for the letter P, the next item I take into is the letter P. Remember, I talked about harmonic mixing and I talked about the issue of keys severally in the last couple of videos where you need to really visit to understand what I'll be talking about now. Every sound has a key which is in relation to the pitch that you are talking about. So this pitch or key or even down to the concept of harmonic mixing is a function of adjusting the pitch. This letter P takes care of adjusting the pitch of this particular track. That means it's going to be moving it of the conventional key that you know it. That is why when I press this, this letter P, just listen. You see? It got to a point the sound is not really making sense again. But how do you really enjoy it? Because you understand that there is a Q point that return it to the zero point. That is the initial key of the or the initial harmonic key of the track. And then the letter P that takes, key, takes it off the key. You get to see the combination of this, returning it back to the key, and then this taking it off the key makes it possible for us to create a unique kind of start. Look at it. So you now see, one of these brings it down, then one of these continues to shift the key of the sound up. That is how we got to bring about this introduction part of it. Then after that, the next thing you do is you now drop the track on it, which is using the letter H. The letter H will allow the track to start on that same particular Q.1, then it flows. This is it. So just the way you get to see it on the beat. Then what next? The next item that comes up is this our letter U. What does this letter U does? This letter U takes care of picking any point in the song and marking it as a hot cue. For those who have my mapping, you have nothing to worry about. You try it, you get to see it work. All you have to do is, let's take for example, the song is in this particular point. Just watch. If you look at it, there is no cue point. But the moment I press this letter you just watch. You see, it automatically puts a cue point on this particular point. If you want to reset it, all you have to do is just press the letter H. Everything is reset. It automatically remove the hot cue from that place. If you want to put a, possibly the song is playing and you want to put a pick a particular phrase in that particular song and you want to play around with it, all you have to do is as the song is playing, when it gets to that particular point that you want to start the word, you pick it. Look just like this. You see, how do you now chop it instead of just making it look like it is a loop? It's very simple. You now control this control U. That is the control button 
will delete you. It's now going to turn that particular point into a chop kind of sound. Look at it. That means your hand will remain in this letter U as long as you want to play around with it. The next thing you will now do is you will now allow the song to play. How do you allow the song to play? You will now press it just normal. So once you press the letter U and it's now playing the song on a normal freeze, just like this. The next thing you have to do is you will now come to this open bracket. This open bracket will introduce a break effect to the particular song. Look at it now. So, but at the time you are going to be releasing the sound, you make sure you remove your hand from this control. Because when you combine the this and control, control U, it's going to chop the sound only. This is it. Then if you want to release it, all you have to do is just one click of this. Then the break effect now breaks the song out. So that is how simple it is. Thank you for being there. Okay, for those who ask you, Dante, ah, who is this DJ Don Genius that looks so imaginary than actually exists in real life? All you have to do is just go on Google, on Google search on your browser, just come to type DJ Dan Genius. The result you have is going to be something like this. You can see my YouTube channel automatically is on the top. When you go down, you can see my Google Play handle, you can see my Apple handle. So you can see, you can see my Amazon link. When you go there, you get to see a couple of products I have there. You can see it. You can see my online store is automatically here telling you the, about the Trump sample. You can see my Deezer. You can see my Apple. You go down. You can see the list is endless. When you continue, you can see my Spotify handle. You can see me on, on Febspot. So I'm virtually everywhere on the internet. You can see TikTok. You can see Facebook. You can see KKBox. So, and when you come to this other site, you will now see that I have a verified C panel, that is Google panel. There's nothing hidden there. So if you are still doubting, I think you have not really done justice to yourself. When you click, you get to see all other information about me here. So this is it. You can see all the necessary things. You can see my profile here. You can see SoundCloud. So thank you for being there. I believe at this point you really understood what this mapping is about. There is so much more you can derive from this mapping. We are just touching a little part of it. I'll be bringing more as time goes on. So, for those who are into it, just continue to practice. I'm sure you will get to appreciate what I'm providing here. So, thank you for being there.